<laughs> Hello there. I'd like to let you in on a little story of mine. Once upon a time, in an off in a ghetto of off-campus housing, there lay an apartment building at the edge of Glenhood. And in that apartment, more than anything, lived a main street. More than Pinterest, more than Starbucks. I wish. Lad. More than AP scores, I wish. And a white more soap maker with more his neon a jewel, I wish. For almost giving a festival, I want a wife, I wish. An indie music festival, married for life, and the best. I wish I had a big scholarship, more than anything. I wish we could get it. I want 12 kids. I wish to go to the festival. I wish for full to wish or even have, I, I wish. wish. Oh. Of a landlord. I wish, I wish he just let you sell your contract so we could get married already. Oh, I'll let you sell your contract. But first, I'm going to need a few things. One, the real card made of gold. Two, the glasses without lens. Three, the hair as yellow as corn. And four, the dean of scholarships. Wait, you want the dean? Yes, he's delicious. What? <laughs> but like, do, do you know him? We met on Tinder. He hasn't messaged me back even after I send him this sexy pic. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> okay, but but I need these things. I, I, I hoard, all right? I'm a hoarder and I need them by midnight. Or so help me, you will never get married. Why by midnight? Because it's curfew, you fool. But we live at the rib. We don't follow curfew. Oh, you hear that? That's true. <sighs> okay, where are we even supposed to find these things? Go to Glenhood! <laughs> Into the, the hood, hood to get the things so we can get to marrying. Into, into the, the hood to see the band clean my dorm. To sell the, the contract to go to the festival. Into, into the hood and out of the hood. hood. And, and home before curfew. I hope I make it home in time to get everything clean. Which way am I supposed to go? Hello, Sister Red. Oh, um, hello, Elder Wolf. It's Brother Wolf now. I'm an RN. <laughs> okay, um. Mm. Cool. Hello, Sister Red. What's the rush? You're missing all the dating. But I'm not even. But slow, Sister Red, are you free? Let's both go out this weekend. I don't want to be just friends. Married for all Other time. Other slack demons, don't spend time with those condemned. Just so little girl, any night, an evening of exploring. I'm really good at bowling. And look what you're ignoring. Marry me? Uh, I... Not this I, ring? Then um, perhaps these. Okay, uh... I had them all sized for well, you. I, I don't... Oh, you? come on. I've received revelation uh, for no, you. I think that's how it works. Whoa, Red, what are you doing? Gross. You're like 18. Well, actually, I'm 16 and a half. Even better. Okay, stop uh, it. Okay. Uh, stop uh, it. Uh, uh, What's uh, wrong with uh, you? How long have you been home? Like a week? Get out of uh, here! Uh, Go! Uh, 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 uh. You have to wait at least two weeks. I wasn't doing I. What kind of a soap maker are you anyway? The kind that lives at the Riv. Okay. Date RM, stay away from those condemned. That was really bad advice. <laughs> Other guys can be nice. But he showed me rings, many beautiful rings I had never tried on before. But it moved so fast, so I really got creeped. I want to find true love, I don't want to be cheap. And my marriage is exciting. RM doesn't always mean good. Here, you can 
have my meal card. I'm tired of the cabin center anyway. Isn't it nice to date a lot? And a little bit not. Thanks, Mr. Soapmaker. Yeah, you're welcome. Hey, you got one. Whoa, where'd you come from? I was hiding behind that tree. You were spying on me? Don't you trust me? No, I wasn't spying on you. I'm just excited for us to get married and, you know, have kids. You don't need me for that. What are you waiting for? I forgot you were homeschooled. <laughs> Here. It takes two. You thought one was enough. It's not true. It takes two of us. Oh, yeah. wait, it, two. Oh, I, I can't believe you're 37 and just, just find this out, but, you know. Okay, let's go get those objects. Okay. <clears throat> Cindy made it to the music festival, and she and Jethro, the lead singer of Imagine Dragon Tales, well, they made a lot of onstage, offstage eye contact. So he tried to find her after the show, but knowing she was too mainstream for him, she fled to the one place on campus that no one would dare to venture, the dreaded steps of South Campus. He is a very hot guy. Woo. He is a hipster for sure. I'm too basic for him, I know. His band's really obscure, like they play at Miller. Catch my breath, fix my hair's I'll prepare for the steps of South Campus. I'm in need of coke, but make sure that it's diet. What if favorite my treats? I think taste of just meat. Take me out to lunch. Could I change for a nap? And listen to his vinyls. Though his mustache is hot, he's absurd, and I'm not. Oh gosh, I can't even. So then which do you pick? Well, your pumpkin spice cocoa is hot, and your things are long. Or where you have a guy, but we're loving Kardashians is wrong. I took this artsy pick, so I'll tag him real quick. The location, the steps of South Campus. Hey, can I have your glasses? Oh my gosh, where'd you come from? I was hiding behind that tree. Okay, but they're not even prescription. Thank you. Now I can put it on my blog. It's called Seriously, I am hashtag blessed. Come stop that girl. <laughs> Gotta go. No, stop. Ah, uh, dang it. Oh, you're the lead singer of Imagine Dragon Tales. You're so much hotter in person. <laughs> yeah, I guess I am pretty hot, though. Yeah, <laughs> take a Polaroid. It'll last longer. <laughs> you're so hipster. What? No. No, I'm not. I'm lumber chic. <laughs> you, you can go now. Oh, okay. Got the glasses, babe. <laughs> Wait, come back. You, okay. The Dean of Scholarships didn't listen to Elder Ballard's talk, and so he was walking around on Tinder. <laughs> yeah. And he thought he saw the long blonde hair of one of his matches, so he chased after her, but he couldn't catch her. And so both men had seen something that they wanted but couldn't have. Where can I find her, this elusive dame? She tagged me on Instagram. I checked on my Facebook, no friend request came. Can she not know who I am? Vanity, but it is just a fun. I'm a pretty boy, that's for sure. Gee, Defs wants my behind. I'm pretty cute too, well so says my mom. She bought all these clothes for me. Last month on the Tinder, I matched with this girl. She swiped right on me. Left, 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 right match. Purity, is she worthy of me? I will garnish my thoughts with her unceasingly. Eternity, forever with this dime piece. 
But at our wedding, will she still look hot standing next to me? Am I not sensitive, super hot, really fine, deep, but job biceps on point? Okay, you guys are so We are lovely. singing a duet. You do not get a solo here. We are both hot, singing about how hot we are. So just don't just quit throwing your pecs around in that gingham flannel, whatever it is. Being this hard can be hard, but we bear it so well. <laughs> Swine, I'm a pearl. Can I have just one girl? How selfish would that be? Monogamy, that just wouldn't be right. Oh, well, Nick Mosun. Turn that on for size lumberjack. <laughs> it's her. Hey, let's make out. Excuse me! Whoa! <laughs> I thought you were a girl! Man, I live in the Glen Hood. I don't gotta cut my hair. Ain't nobody got time for that! <laughs> hey, can I have your hair? Whoa, where did you come from? I was hiding behind that tree. Okay, then. Hey, hold on. Thank you. I thought you said you didn't have time to cut your hair. She cute, though. Ah. Uh, <laughs> women. Or men? Well, have you found all the things oh, yet? Wait, wait, where did you come from? I was hiding behind you behind the tree. <laughs> it doesn't feel so good, does it? <laughs> okay, well, I've got, I've got two of the objects so far, but... Uh, hurry up, it's almost midnight, you uh, fool! <laughs> As the fiancé carried her tree away to get the remaining objects, Jack was on a tour with the Dean of Scholarships, but he soon became, like, really depressed with all the competition associated with trying to get into BYU. Man. Gotta get into the why. How on earth will I stand out when I apply? I'm afraid that they won't let me in Cause I'm from Utah and I'm Caucasian And diversity isn't a real thing On this campus white as snow You're forced to do What gets you into BYU Like lying on your resume And listening sports you didn't play But I've got a skill to impress Admissions oh. A genius way to keep me from going And though I won't get in with my awful grades Thought my GPA was fine at a 3.8 I'll get my Bunsen beaker and all my chemicals I'll get into the why Right? No, that one's definitely left <laughs> Tinder Man <laughs> Mr. Dean, I need your help to get married Oh, well, I can't argue with love. And did you know? It takes two. <laughs> oh. Yeah, let's go. Okay. <laughs> As the dean and the soap maker rushed back through Glenwood before midnight, or Glenhood, I'm sorry, Jack set an explosive plan in motion to really impress the dean, and the fiancé had collected the remaining objects for the witch just in time. Oh, and gosh, what was that? What happened? As I'm pretty sure somebody just blew up the riv. No! No, my, me my artisan soap lab! Ooh. Pretty sure it was him. What, but, I mean... Uh. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! What <laughs> if you died? My babies! Wait, you had children? No, you idiot! My peony babies! <laughs> they were going to be more stuff. <coughs> I wouldn't... Dean. Oh, you're that girl from Tinder. Dean, hi. Your hair looks a lot different on the pictures. Well, you don't have any, so... Mm, Dean. 
I wasn't very nice. But you were going to be the pinnacle of my collection. Oh, what have you done, you fool? Just go to bed already. It's, it's past midnight. What are you still doing up? There's no point anymore. No point to anything. Just leave me. The spirit goes to bed at midnight. It's two seconds past curfew. Just go make out in some hallway. Somewhere I can't see. You ruined all my things! My One Direction CDs, Ozane, my cheap dollar snorkeling, the rotten food bacteria strain, without my junk mail piles, garden gnomes and floppy disk files, my reader's digest stacked in the aisles. I'll sit here in my stripes while you go get your wife. My gay dreams, spreading to my screen. Goodbye, Miss Daddy! I loved you. <laughs> Another poor leave. soul lost in the depths of the Glen Hood hot tub. I'm, Dean, I'm, Dean, where'd you? No, I'm Dean, just gonna... Dean, don't, don't leave me, Dean. I'm, I'm still alive. Mouth to mouth, quickly. I, I, you're an Eagle Scout, right, Dean? Come back to me, Dean. Return, return to me, Dean. Oh, Dean, my head. I think this means we can get married. Uh, yeah, I'll go see if I can find my dress in the rubble, and I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, hey, you're looking pulchritudinous. Oh, thank you. You want to head back to my loft and listen to my new EP on vinyl? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, okay. let's go. <laughs> Okay, I literally cannot even with all these explosions anymore. I... Um, guys, someone just blew up the swicket? I have no idea who. You... Wait, no! <laughs> what are you doing with this clearly white and gold veil? I was thinking that was a black and blue scarf. <laughs> was that your fiancé's veil? I found it in the rubble. I don't think she made it. That's literally devastating. Hashtag RIP, hashtag not blessed, hashtag Coney 2012. <laughs> Heartbroken soap maker dragged Jack to the campus police, who as always do nothing. And they all lived happily ever after until the. Oh. <gasps> I told you I was from the hood. Don't get in my way when I'm getting a call. Pop! <coughs> Finish your own story. I've been shanked. <gasps> oh, this is literally more devastating than that one episode of The Bachelor. <laughs> Two on ones. Oh, we gotta go so we can watch tonight's episode. I can't believe you didn't record that. <laughs> okay, wait, which way? Google Maps won't guide you. Pepper spray and mace out. Get this creep real good. She's still unavailable. You may think that you're alone, but you're probably not alone. Sometimes people shank you, shank you as you walk down the street. Have someone to help you get through. Especially 